Good morning, my fellow ARC players. This is Tile Creek Rock back for another exciting day here on the ARC Survival Evolved, the Lost Island map. This is day number 221 of our little adventure here, and I can see right now we've had some kind of disaster going on here. I don't know what is triggering all my dinos, which stinks. But it was a Dinopithecus down there in the bottom, I guess. But it's got all my creatures all messed up up through here. But anyway, I guess I'll fix that later. See how bad it is. We've got wyverns all the way over here, though. Oh, we got wyverns in the water. Can't have that. They will drown. This is what a dino wipe will do for you when you've got creatures that spawn around your area. Hopefully these guys will land inside the walls. Come on, land there. Can't be landing outside in the water. There's one of them down wind up losing some of these if I ain't careful. There's one down here that I've got to get back in. Come on, wyverns. I've got to straighten this mess up, but I'll do it later when I get back this evening, I guess. land for me. You can land up on that wall would be fine. Just don't go outside the gate. Yep, I've got plans for today. So we're going to have to get started on that. If we can get these wyverns under control here. I'm afraid I'm going to lose some creatures here. We've got wyverns down here. Hopefully we ain't got none plumb outside the gate. Right over there is a bunch of Diplodocuses. Let's just get out of here. Let's leave the area. Grab this supply drop and we're going back to the desert today. We need some good T-Rex saddles really bad. Because the best ones we've got has got like 42 or 43 armor. And that's really not good enough for our Rexes. We need something better. We need to find us a blueprint. Better Rex saddle. I'm gonna go dump this saddle off real quick. I'm gonna have to spend a day or two over here just straightening up this mess where all the creatures have gotten out of whack. Probably be better if I just put a bunch of them in crowd pods. And the game is locking up on me. Wow, I cannot drive. Trying to make a land in here. Let's do it. You find one place you can't land, didn't you? I was going to give this Swivern a name today, but I'm thinking about calling him something else after all these landings I'm failing at. On land. There we go. We've got to get underway with our adventure for today, and this is taking some time. I should have never stopped at that supply drop. Got a Duckleostis saddle, looks like, that we will probably never use. But I don't want to carry it to the desert with me because it's kind of heavy. Let's get to the desert. And I'll straighten up this mess of dinosaurs when I get back. Off camera, of course, because nobody wants to see that. We 
We've got a dino candy on our wyvern now, so it flies 15% faster than normal, which just means that the map is going to have that much harder of a time loading in front of me, which means we're going to get a lot of lag today, I would say. And of course, the reason we're going back to the desert is we're going to look for some high tier loot crates in that desert temple labyrinth place because we need some better T Rex saddles. Could use some Uteranus saddles also. And I wouldn't scoff at a better Mega 3M or Thakaleo saddle. But that labyrinth temple has some high tier loot crates in it. I have been going down there quite a bit lately, so I have finally figured out a little bit how to get around in it. There's another saddle that we probably never use, but let's get on our way here. I have figured out the, how to get around inside the labyrinth pretty good now, and I can usually do it without any trouble. So we're going to go down there and hit up the loot crates. You usually get five loot crates out of it. Hoping for some good stuff today. We've been getting some pretty bad drops out of them. But we did get a Cindy Longneck once. And what else did we get? We got a good piece of chest armor. I think it's got about 200 armor, right? Which is not that great, but it's a lot better than I had. Of course, I done the dino wipe for the Easter event, so all the creatures down through here is going to be new now. We might see some wild looking thylas down here today. Some Easter colored ones. I did decide to give my wyvern a name. I'll probably land right here and go ahead and do that. Been using this one for a pretty good while. It is actually a nice wyvern, but it has a dino candy on it, which turned it bright red. I'm going to decide to name it here. Options. Change name. Okay, I've named him Red Hot. This is his new name. You can see it there or not. Call him Red Hot. It won't last long. Dino candy's got a timer on it. I think it's actually 23 hours on the dino candy, or might be 23 days. Nope, I'd say that's 23 hours. But 23 hours is actually 23 in game days, so I guess you could call that 23 days. 23 hours, 31 minutes, and 46 seconds on the dino candy. I'm going to fly around the edge of the desert right here where the thylas usually spawn and see if there's any brightly colored thylas before we go into the desert temple. Just out of curiosity, like I said, we've done the dino wipe about four or five episodes ago, so everything's going to be new now. And there's another one of those supply drops that you can't pick up. See, it's halfway down in the ground. That's another one of those. It's only green, though, so it's not a huge deal. Margosauruses, yep. Have a bunch of new Margosauruses up through here. There's a new Thyla. I want to look at it, but these Margosauruses are going to run up on me as soon as I land. Is that a good Thyla? 135. Yes, it is a very good one. And the Margosaurus has done exactly what I thought they would. Run up on me. We've got a 135 Thyla down here. We might have to come back and tame that later, but if I come back, it'll be gone, though. There is a slim chance I could get six loot crates down here because there is one that actually spawns over here on this hill outside the temple. Which I've only ever seen it one time on my game. I've seen it on other people's games. But it's right up here on this hill right here. We'll stop and check and see if it's here or not. If it was here, it would be right here on this spot right here. So I'll give everybody a GPS location for this above ground desert loot crate. 
find my GPS and remember how to equip it. Right here is the location of this loot crate that's on top of the mountain. It's at 91.3 by 71.5. And the temple is right directly in front of us here. So we're going to go ahead and go in the temple since this loot crate is not here. We should be able to get five high tier loot crates inside this temple over here. Maybe get lucky and get us a good T-Rex saddle finally. I don't know. We've been down here about a dozen times and we haven't gotten one yet. Probably more than a dozen times. But like I said, I've been down here enough that I can finally figure out how to find my way around a little bit in it. I actually did get an ascended flamethrower blueprint out of a regular drop right over there behind that mountain. It was a yellow one. That's the first ascended item I've ever gotten out of an above ground supply drop. It was a blueprint for an ascended flamethrower. Okay, Wyvern, sit down here. What you want to do when you go in this place, you want to make sure to bring you a shotgun and some heat health bruise with you. I usually put my health bruise down here where my pickaxe is so I can get to them really quick just in case we run into bats again. Then I transfer everything off to my wyvern. I also brought an extra, an extra cinema crops just in case we do die in here. So we haven't died in here since that first time so we probably won't have no trouble. And you want to make sure you bring your shotgun shields we get some stimulant just in case you get knocked out in there because there is well I don't know if you can get knocked out or not I think I've seen some scorpions in there once I might be mistaken about that though let me see do I need to take anything else in there just ammo and health bruise and my shotgun put everything else on my wyvern so in case I die I'll respawn out here and I'll have stuff to go back and recover my wyvern's on passive you can't be on passive Got to be on neutral just in case something comes up here and bothers you. I've got a bed right down there in case we die inside here. Actually, if we do die inside there, you need to have your wyvern where you can get back on it because you cannot fly without your cinema crops, and my cinema crops is going to be inside the wyvern. So we need to have that where we can reach it. This temple is pretty easy, actually, once you learn your way around a little bit in here. You get out your shotgun in case of bats. Sometimes you can go through here and not trigger any of the bats, but sometimes I just can't seem to do it. There's a few spots down there where this third supply drop is that almost always triggers bats. But we'll call this the first floor, and then you go down a couple of sets of stairs and you get down to the second floor, which is right down here. And then you got to fly over this little boat thing here or jump if you don't have a cinema crop you can jump across it but it's really hard to do and jump across it and I always go right you got a little thing right here you can't go left anyway right there but I always do all my rooms to the right come right through here and I usually stay along the edge because I think some of these big middle squares are trigger plates to bring out bats and train darts and stuff on you the other stuff okay this supply drop is right here today. Sometimes it's not right here. Sometimes it's in the next room down. But let's go ahead and get this. Okay, it's got some Mastercraft fur gloves in it. So let's take those. But sometimes this drop is not in this room. It's in the next room. Go down through here. Sometimes this drop will actually be in this room right here, right in the middle of it, right over there is where it usually is. Sometimes it's back there though. And there's one other spot on this floor, which we're going to call this the second floor. Sometimes it can be right over here. If it's in neither of those spots, it will be right over there. It'll be right there where my pointer's at. And right there's another spot where those wall darts shoot. And I ain't figured out what triggers them because I usually stay right next to the wall and they always shoot anyway. We're going to go right down this hallway. We're going to head down to the third floor. There's another set of steps you got to go down right up here is the third floor. There is actually no supply drops on this third floor, so you can just actually you can go either way right here and it'll take you out of the map right to the next floor down. I usually go to the right though always because I've got used to going this way. 
Usually if you hug the walls you won't trigger nothing. Sometimes you do anyway though. I'm not exactly sure where all the traps are. So right there I triggered some traps. You can see them right there on the wall. See those little pipe looking things sticking out? Something right there triggers them. But if you move along at a pretty good pace you won't never get hit by them usually. Okay right here is going down to the fourth floor right here. This is the last set of steps you go down right here. This takes you to the bottom floor. And there's actually four loot crates on this next floor here down on the fourth floor. If I'd have went to the left instead of the right up there, it just would have brought me down these steps right here. And you can go either way right here also, but I found it much easier to go to the right again. Right here is another thing you have to fly across or jump across one another. Like I said, it's always better to have have your cinema crops and just glide across. And right here you want to do it hang on medium left, because there's a loot crate right here in the middle of this room. I don't really know which of these pads trigger stuff, but I usually try to hang way out this way. And grab this one, and it usually doesn't trigger the matters of the ascended, an ascended Ankylosaurus saddle. Okay, there's another loot crate inside this little wall right here. And I like to fly across this little area right here because there is a button in the floor somewhere right here that triggers bats. Right here's the button that opens that room up. A little block with a hand bloody handprint on it, if I can hit it just right. This will open up this room inside this wall here. Like I said, I'm flying right here because there's a button there that triggers a bunch of bats. And this just had some pretty bad stuff in it there. It had a master craft saddle of some sort, but right there somewhere is a, well, that about got me. One of those buttons right there triggers a bunch of bats to come out, and those things will definitely key you, so you will Avoid triggering those if you can. There's another one of those places that shoot darts at you. I should have flew over that, but I didn't think about it. Right here, instead of heading right, I usually go straight across right here. This brings me around to the last area where the loot crates are. I've got two more loot crates to get up. It's a big bloody hallway. If you go down that side of the hallway, you will get burned up with these dark traps here. These little things sticking out of the wall, every one of them is a dark trap. So if you go down the other side, all those will trigger. I may have triggered some bats here. I don't know. I don't hear them yet, but I've made that clicking sound. Yep, I triggered bats, so we need to get on with it. These bats will destroy your armor quick and tear you up. Here's the other loot crate. And there's one more in another little room. We've got to run to them though because these bats will catch you if you ain't careful. This hallway coming up right here is another one that's full of traps. If you fly over it, you can avoid all of them though. The walls are just full of dark traps right there. And this is the last loot crate in this desert temple. It can be in four or five different spots, but it's always in this room. It can be Ascended shield and spade can be between most of these pillars right here. They can be in all different spots, but it's always in this room. So you can get five loot crates in here. And you gotta fly across this little area here. At least I seem to find the easiest way of doing it because it, it, any way I've walked across it's triggered those dark traps. And I've got to run past these bats right up here again because they're still gonna be here. Those bats I triggered, they'll probably be right up here in this hallway on the way out. So what you want to do if they're here is you want to run past them as quick as you can and get them hung up. Of course, I'm not seeing them now, so I must have hung them up somewhere else. Usually they're up here waiting on me right at the exit, but your exit is right up here. Right there's the button. It's kind of hard to get on, but that gets you out of here. And there's how you run this desert, desert labyrinth temple thing to get your loot crates. You get five loot crates like that. And you've got to wait on the lag to get out of here. Okay, let's see what we got now while we're, before we get back on our wyvern and leave out. We got a journeyman thorny dragon saddle blueprint. We got some mastercraft scuba leggings. 
we got a Mastercraft right shield blueprint. I bet that takes a lot of stuff to make. Boy, it does. I'll probably not ever make that. We got a ramshackle mantis saddle. I don't know why we got a ramshackle item down there. We got a Mastercraft Lymantry saddle. Mastercraft fur gauntlets. Journeyman desert cloth. Mastercraft regular cloth. And then the best thing we got is this ascended ankylosaur saddle. Which that is pretty good. I'll probably use that. But I think I'm going to put this stuff on my cinema crop so I don't get mixed in with the other stuff that I've been getting. E, I've already got my cinema crop full of full of Easter event stuff. I forgot all about that. Let's throw it in there anyway though. Maybe I won't get them mixed up. I've been keeping my my desert loot crates in different boxes at, at my base so I can tell what all I've been finding. Let's take those out so we don't get them mixed in. And let's get out of here. Let's head back to base, I think. Maybe do a little more hunting somewhere. And get my regular equipment back. Put the meat back on the wyvern. And I didn't even need none of those health brews, but it's good to have them with you just in case. If I'd have had them that day those bats killed me, I would have survived. Well, actually, I did have them. I just didn't have a shotgun to take the bats out, and they still got me anyway. But I think we're going to head back to base now. And we'll probably stop by here and get a drink of water real quick. I kind of think I want to go back and fly around the Maywing pasture a little more. Because I would still like to find another one of those... Another one of those super rexes. I want to stop and get a drink of water, but there's going to be capros here now since I've done the respawn thing. Yeah, right there is one. Come on, get a drink. Get out of here before that capro sees me. Let's see what level this blue megatherium is. Only 20. Well, dang. Yep, yeah, time to leave the desert. Get back to base. Throw up our nice. Boy, that is a really blue one right there, too. Level 20. Boy, all the blue ones are 20s. Parasitheriums? I don't need parasitheriums anyway, though, really. We've got some colorful creatures spawning in now. All those thorny dragons were really brightly colored. Actually, we don't want to go that way. We want to go this way. That just takes you out to a bunch of islands out in the middle of the ocean. I have checked those out a few days back. Probably been 20 or 30 days back now. I done it while I was not recording. I actually, flew around those little islands. There wasn't nothing on them really. I think one of them had a few parasaurs on it, dillos. And the rest of them were basically uninhabited. But they're all the way to the far east side of your map if you want to find them. The southeast side of it. There is a cave right up here we're going to eventually do here pretty soon, I think. Right at the foot of that mountain up ahead of us. We've looked in there before, just poked our head in the entrance and seen that it was full of bats. So I'm thinking we'll probably take a Megatherium down here when we get ready to do it. Right here in this little end den in this mountain is a cave. It may not really be a cave, it may be a resource cave, but it did have bats in it. So I'm thinking it might be a full-blown cave. I'm thinking in a few days we'll bring a Megatherium down here and we'll go through this. Right here's the entrance for it. I have not watched any videos or anything on this one, so I don't know what's in here. It's going to be a complete surprise when I do decide to go in here. I do think it's a cave though because we're getting loading spikes right here. You can see right over there is a bunch of bats so it's full of bats. It may turn out just to be a resource cave or something but I don't think... oh there is an alpha Raptor or Alpha Carno one stuck in a wall right here, right by where I got off at. Boy, it's a wonder that didn't come for me. Where's the scope on it? Stuck in a wall. It looks like an Alpha Raptor. 
Yep. Level 135 Alpha Raptor. Boy, that could have put a hurt on me. I guess I could take that out really quick here, since we doing nothing else in particular. You have to level up to my wyvern, probably. I would like to be able to see, though. These trees are making it difficult. Raptor come down from that hill. This is a 135, so it should level me up quite a bit to kill him. I don't know that it did or not. We got a ton of prime meat now, though, I'm sure. We got a journeyman pike for that and some apprentice shoes and a ramshackle, ramshackle crossbow. That's the usual kind of stuff you get for these. The journeyman pike is pretty good. It is 1,400 hours, so I think we're going to do a little bit of hunting before we go back to base. Right up around this area, right up here where the Titanosaurs and Gigas spawn at. I'm going to see if any new ones have, have happened to have spawned in for us. Be nice to see a new Giga. Might tame a Giga if I find a good one. I did find a Giga up here one day, but then I came back up here and never could find it again. It was a level 90. I want to circle around this area a little bit and see what's up here now. We had a titanosaur up here too, but like I said earlier, we did do a dino wipe and got rid of all the creatures, so it's not going to be there anymore unless a new one spawned in its place. Wow, there are some colorful turtles and tracks. We'll find a good high level Giga up here on this mountain and we'll tame it one of these days. More likely be a level 20 or 15 or something though because we get, this map seems to favor the low level spawns. Right here's where the Titanosaur was. I sure if it'll spawn somewhere else. Titanosaurs usually fall from the sky when they spawn in. I don't see one so I guess we lost your Titanosaur. On top of this hill is where that Giga spawn is. Okay, I don't see no Gigas either today, so we've not got a Giga or a Titanosaur spawn over here today. Just kind of hoping to see them. I'm going to fly on around this area, see if we can spot any more T-Rexes, though. Never know, we might come across another Super Rex. It's right up here where they usually spawn at. Get my stamina back real quick. Diplodocus up here. Brontos. We're not going to do much looking. We're just going to fly around over this prairie land here where the Maywings spawn at and see if anything big shows up. Bunch of sheep. See what color the or what level the real pretty blue sheep is. 85. And the other one is a 25, so there's pretty bad sheep. What 
Is that in the water? Is that a dolphin? Level 90 and a level 50 dolphin. I do need to start hunting for another creature that I haven't tamed yet. I need to start finding me a Basiliosaur. There's some more Allosaurs. Let's see what level those are. 55 and a 95. They're not any good either. Boy, it's just hard to find high level creatures on this map. It's pretty rare. Pretty rare to find a high level creature and sometimes you can find just ridiculous ones like these super rexes that spawn over in here. Which shouldn't be a thing because I reckon they're supposed to be a limit cap on the, how high levels your creatures can be so they shouldn't be super rexes. But for some reason they are. Ark may have took them out though with this Easter update because I haven't spotted any more in quite a while. That. Is that another Allosaur? One stuck in a rock. And a 100 is the Alpha. Wow, that stuck in a rock is in a bad position. Level 50 stuck in a rock. We're going to head on back to base, I think, and put up our good loot from the desert temple labyrinth thing. We'll probably call it a day once we get our loot put up and show what we've been getting out of those loot crates down there. We haven't really got any super great stuff, but it's a lot better than what I've been getting out of the regular supply drops. And I've been hoping to come across a, a good T-Rex saddle. So we'll have to continue that hunt, I guess, because we still don't have an ascended T-Rex saddle. Okay, that guy just jumped right over my head. The Maywing. About locked the game up, Maywing, doing that. And I discovered we got our Equuses and our Megatheriums on this map now. for another purple supply drop even though I know it's going to be nothing good. Here's some ramshackled gilly leggings. Let's get on back to base. I'm going to got a vault full of desert loot I'm going to show off really quick and then we're going to end the video off here. If the redwood forest will load in for us. It's not one to load in, is it? I guess we're actually going to get one more loot crate. There's a yellow one right there next to my base. Right next to the Redwood Fortress or Castle or whatever it's called. I actually checked the thing on it. It's some kind of castle is what it's called on the on your I don't know what you even call your little thing when you open your inventory up. It shows you where you're at on your inventory. I'll show that here in a minute. Get landed again. Come on, Wyvern. Do you landed in the right spot? Instead of falling to your death. Red Hot. I didn't name this Wyvern Red Hot now. So he's got a name. But anyway, if you look in your menu right here and go to the middle right here, it tells you what area you're in. You're in Dark Fern Castle is the name of this place. It's actually called Dark Fern Castle. So this is called Dark Fern Castle if anybody's interested in this location. I actually didn't know that until recently. I noticed it on the menu thing. Let's see, right here's the chest where I keep all my, my desert loot from the temple. I've got some ascended items in here. There's a blueprint for an ascended Amargosaurus saddle. Most of the stuff is journeyman and mastercraft and some apprentice stuff, but there's a few ascended items. There's an ascended Diplodocus saddle. 
There's an ascended electric prod, an ascended, ascended uh, Lymetris saddle. It's actually three ascended Mantis saddles. Ascended Paris Ethereum saddle blueprints. I actually got two of those. There's an ascended Thuringiosaur saddle with 110 armor. If I could find a Rex one like that, I would be set up. That's a lot of armor, 110. For me, anyway. And heck, there's an ascended Tropionagus saddle with 214 armor. All this stuff came out of that desert temple that I've been in. We've got a couple of ascended whips, but like I said, most of the stuff is journeyman and mastercraft. We have got a few good items down there, though. And we got this ascended rifle that we're carrying in our inventory right now. It's got 216 damage, so that's another good item. But basically, that's what we've been getting out of that temple down there. But anyway, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And thanks again for watching. This is Tile Creek Rock. And my cinema crops with the bunny ears. It'd be nice if the map would load me in, wouldn't it? But anyway, signing out.